Hey guys, I'm welcome to a new video in this Coupon tutorial. In this video here, we're just going to look at the basic operations that we can do with Coupon. So we're going to look at how we can take the, the data from the CPU and transfer it to the GPU, do some basic operations and then convert it back to the CPU again uh, to actually like, get the results and do some further processing on the numbers. But first of all, remember to hit the subscribe button and post notification under the video. Only 10 of them of you guys watching these videos here actually like, subscribe to the channel. It's just a single click and it helps me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. You can always become a member of the channel or a patron if you want some help in your own projects. Uh, I can help you out, give some guidance, so thank you guys. So now we're just going to jump straight into Google Colab. In the last video, we just had an introduction to Coupi. I showed you the website and the documentation, so how we can actually like, use it. Again, this is exactly the same thing as NumPy, it is just called Coupi. And then we can use the exact same functions from NumPy with Coupi. And then we're just going to use the GPU instead of the CPU for doing faster calculations. In that video, we saw like how we can use the website, the references, how we can use the documentation, and so on. So definitely check that out. Uh, where we're just going to where we're just covering like how we can use it. We're looking at some of the functions and so on. So it's really good to know how you can read the documentation and then go, just go in with yourself and use it in your own code. But here, first of all, we need to make make sure that we know the version of our CUDA installation when we're actually using um, Google Colab, and then we can basically just install with pip, we can just install Coupi with the CUDA support. So I have already checked it is CUDA 11.1. Um, so basically we can just run this block of code. We are, first of all, we're going to check the version of CUDA and then we're just going to pip install Coupi. So here we're connecting, we're initializing our kernel right now and then we should run this block of code and install CUDA um, or like Coupi with CUDA support. But here we can see like the requirement is already satisfied. I have already installed it here in this kernel. So now we're going to look at some of the basics of Coupi, some of the basic operations that we can use. So Coupi is a GPU array back, uh, back backend that implements a subset of the NumPy interface. So basically again, we can use uh, most of the functions from NumPy with Coupi, it is basically just the same. So here we're going to import both NumPy as NP and then we're also going to import uh, Coupi as CP. So again, we can just interchangeable use NP and CP, but we need to make sure that when we're using NumPy, our data should be on the CPU. And when we're using CP, our data should be on the GPU. And then we're going to look at how we can transfer the data back and forth between the CPU and the GPU. So now we're going to import these two different kind of like modules. And now we should actually get a check here. So yeah, we have now imported both NumPy and Kubi. And here we can see that the Coupi ND Array class is at the core of Coupi and is a replacement class for NumPy's uh, ND Array as well. So again, these functions are like most of the things implementing Coupi and NumPy are interchangeable. Uh, so here we can just set up an array. So we have our x underscore GPU. Then we can just set that equal to cp.array. So again, if you want, you want to do it with NumPy, you can just have np.array as we're going to do down here at the bottom. And then we basically just throw in an array. So we want to create an array or like a list with one, two, and three. So these are the elements inside of our list. Then we can do some linear algebra as I showed you in the last video inside the documentation. So we have this linear algebra class or module inside of our coupon. So then we have L2 underscore DPU, which is equal to CP dot linear algebra uh, dot norm. So we're going to take norm of this list here that we have on our DPU. And then we basically just do that calculation. So again, imagine you have a, a really, really large array or like even like matrices and you want to do some calculations on that, then it's very beneficial to do the calculations or at least the heavy calculations on the GPU compared to the CPU. So this will save you a lot of time. And also if you want to run like real time applications, definitely look into like how we can use uh, GPU support even though because sometimes when you're actually like doing your calculations or if you're using Python, uh, Python is really slow compared to like, for example, like uh, C++, but when we're using NumPy, uh, it is actually like running APIs to C++ code. So it's still really fast when we're using the NumPy functions. But again, it is it still runs on the CPU, but now we're actually like able to run it on the GPU, which will speed up our process or like our computational, uh, our computation like very, very much. We can actually like go up, like if we're creating like really large arrays or like even like really large matrices, we want to like solve a linear system or something like that. It can speed up the process like significantly. You can even go from like uh, not even like being able to run in real time to actually like run your algorithms in real time by just using this CuPy instead of NumPy. But here we're just going to run this blob code. We're going to create a list on the GPU and then we're just going to take the norm of that GPU. 
and then we can basically just print norm here to make sure that we actually like get something out so here i'm going to print it out but what is this going to cost so here i'm going to print it and then we can actually like just see the result here even though we haven't converted it back to the cpu yet so now we can just do the exact same thing i'm just going to show you that these functions here are actually like interchangeable with numpy and coupon so we're just going to do the exact same thing but this is with coupon instead of numpy in another video i'm going to do this uh, where we're actually like going to time some of these functions so we can actually like see the difference between using the cpu and the gpu and also when should you act like transfer data to the gpu to do the calculations instead of just doing it on the cpu when is it actually like beneficial to use the gpu so here we can see we get the exact same results even though we're running it on either like on the gpu or on the cpu so here we're going to going to create uh we're going to talk about like some gpu devices so we can actually like have multiple gpus running on your computer where you can do like parallel computing so you can actually like have uh, two different kind of like GPUs where you can do your calculations on so you can have one GPU doing some calculations and another GPU use doing some other different kind of calculations and when those two are finished you can like merge the two calculations and so on so this is just if you have some uh, a really good computer where you have like multiple GPUs or something like that and you want to run your calculations in parallel so all coupon op operations here except for the multi GPU features and device to device copy are performed on the currently active device so the active device is act like zero but you can act, act like specify other different kind of devices that you want to run except the multi gpu features which of course will run on different kind of like gpus if they are available so here this will run on gpu zero so if you haven't specified anything it will just run on gpu zero you can act like just go in and specify the, the, the device index that you want to run so you can have with cp.cuda.device and then you can just index one for the first CPU or like the second CPU because zero is the first CPU. And then if you have like even more GPUs, you can just specify the index of those. But this video here, like I don't, I'm not just using Google Colab. I've only assigned one GPU at the moment. So here it will just give us an error, but this is how you can do it if you have multiple uh, GPUs. But again, you need to make sure that if you have it on the GPU one here and the GPU zero another array, then you can't do the operations uh, because those two arrays here or like lists are on different GPUs. So you need to have it on the same device when you're doing the calculations, either on the same CPU, GPU. So you have to have it on the same GPU. And you also need to make sure that you are either on the CPU or on the GPU. So now we can do some data transfers so we can like go from the CPU to the GPU and back again when we have done our calculations. So NumPy or like SciPy here or like QPy as array, this function as array can be used to move a NumPy in the array, a list or any object that can be passed to the NumPy array to the current device, which is our device zero. So here we're going to create a list with on, on the CPU. So here we can, we're just going to create a list on the CPU and then we can use uh, SciPy here or like QPy to actually like just call as array, then we can just pass in our list and then we will have our list transferred uh, onto our GPU. So here we have X, uh, X CPU or X GPU. So now we have both things and this will run on the CPU and the GPU. Again, if you have multiple devices, you can specify it in this way here. I'm not able to run this code as I'm only having one GPU at the moment. But again, you can just exactly like, do the exact same things here but you need to make sure that when you're doing operations, you are on the same device with your data. So we can also move array, uh, an array from a, host to, from a device to the host, which is the CPU. So imagine you have done your calculations, you have now a final list, and then you just want to convert that back to the CPU. Then you can basically just call cp.asNumpy, and then you can just pass in the list, and then you will get it onto the CPU again. So if you want to go from the CPU to the GPU, you call cp.asArray, and if you want to go from uh, the GPU to the CPU, just call as NumPy. Or you can also call something called uh, .get, so you can basically just get the list from the GPU to the CPU. So this can also be used for transferring the data back. So here again, we can just print out x underscore CPU. So just to make sure that we have actually like converted it back. Again, here we can see that we return an array. We have this array, uh, and then we have it on the GPU. We convert it back to the CPU, and then we just print it. We can also just use x underscore gpu dot get. This will always also transfer the data from the GPU to the CPU. So this should be similar to the output that we got up here above. So this is correct. 
So now in the last part of the video here, we're going to look at some examples of conversions between the CPU and the GPU. So here we're going to create a list on the CPU, uh, both an X and a Y CPU list. And then we're going to add those two and see the results. So here we can basically just see the results. Then we're going to do it on the GPU. So we're going to, to convert our list um, as an array. And then we're going to convert it to the GPU. Then we're going to try to add our GPU or like a list on the GPU with our CPU. And then we're going to see what happens. So here we can see we get an error. First of all, here we will actually like print out the results. So if we're just going to have a print statement here, so we can actually like see what is going on. So again, yes, we can multiply uh, two arrays on the CPU as we have been uh, saying the whole uh, video and also in the previous video. But here again, we can print it out. We can see we actually like add these elements here, like element wise. So we have five, seven, and nine. We basically just add these two lists. But down here, when we want to actually like add a list on the GPU with a list on the CPU. It is not capable of doing that because we need to make sure that our data is on the same device. So here we can see unsupported type class. So we can support numpy dot uh, array. So this should be a coupy dot array. So again, we need to make sure that our data is on the same device when we're doing our calculations. And you can often get this error here um, if you're not like really sure like what is your uh, where is your data act like on the devices? And again, if you have really complicated programs and you have a lot of different kind of calculations going on, uh, this can be a really uh, huge error that can cost you some uh, some debugging time in your own programs. So here we can just basically, again, we can just have our uh, as numpy x underscore GPU. So this function will convert our list back to the CPU and then we can actually like uh, multiply it with our list on the CPU or a while list on the CPU. And now we can see we get the results out again here we have our gpu we can also convert here we are just going to see what happens if we already have a list on the cpu and we want to convert it to the cpu let's see what it does so then it acts like does nothing because this is already on the cpu again we convert this list here from the gpu to the cpu and then down here at the bottom as the last examples we have our x gpu and then we multiply it with as array so we have our on y underscore cpu so we're going to use this function to convert this list to the GPU. And now we should actually like be able to calculate this or like multiply these two lists because now we have all our data on the GPU. And again, we can see now we get the results out because we have all the data on the GPU. And the last example here before we're going to round off this video here is that we're actually like going to convert this X underscore GPU to the GPU, which is already on the GPU. And then we're going to convert our, our, our uh, CPU array here to the GPU as well. So again, this should also be able to run because we have our list on the GPU. We want to convert it to the GPU, but that doesn't really make sense because it is already on the GPU. Again, we get the exact same results, but we just need to make sure that we are on the same device when we're doing our calculations. And this will save you a lot of time. And again, if your program is not running, if your calculation is not making making sense, and if you just get some errors, make sure that you're uh, that you're um, act like on the same device when you're doing your calculations. So thank you guys for watching this video here. We've been covering like the basic operations with CuPy. So we can use a lot of different kind of like functions from NumPy directly with CuPy. We can just change like NP to CP. And then we can also use some other different kind of like modules with linear algebra, fast for year transforms and so on. So in the last video, we had an introduction. In this video here, we talked about basic operations and then we're going to cover like all the other different kind of things in the upcoming videos in this CuPy tutorial because this is a really cool module and library that can be used for a lot of different kind of things. And basically like if you have some really large calculations, you should just use CuPy instead of NumPy because it will both save your time and it will also speed up your computation and your program when you're actually like running and doing your calculations. So thank you guys for watching. And again, remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video. Also like this video if you like the content and you want more in the future. It just will help me and the YouTube channel out in a massive way. I'm currently just doing a computer vision tutorial and a deep learning tutorial where we're talking about like basic image operations, camera calibration, sterilization, point clouds, doing operations on point clouds and so on. So if you're interested in one of those tutorials, I'll link to one of them up here or else I'll see you next video guys. Bye for now.